All right, I'm pretty sure that my team is getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, we got we got wraps. That, that's lit. We, we just got, kind of got into this game where, where my teammate has wraps. That, that's great. Fantastic. Love that. All right, well, the game's over. That awesome. That's the end of the video. Goodbye. Please let there be somebody up here that I can slap this with. Nope. Dude, I, I just need to slap somebody with this. God, the spawn's flipped again. God damn it. Yeah, there we go. Finally, we got some, we got somebody. Fringe. Oh my. I feel like I shouldn't say this is a classic map, but I definitely feel like it is a classic map. Yeah, hopefully I don't get put bo put against bots this time. Last time I recorded, I got put against bots and I didn't really realize it. So here's some highlights from that. Yeah, if that was if that was Modern Warfare 2, he would have heard me and probably turned around and killed me. Dead silence is actually a perk in this game, so it actually helps. Oh my. Dude, he just started shooting me before I turned around the corner. Guy's hacking. He's hacking. Damn, son. I'm gonna try and catch this guy from behind. Wait, what? Pause. I, I gotta remember to change my kill streaks because I haven't changed them yet. Not that I'm good enough to get high streaks or anything like that, but you know, it's nice to try at least. Dude, I forgot that. Yo, low key, I forgot that you can reload and run in this game. I de it's, it hasn't been a thing in Call of Duty in so long that I forgot that it existed. No, dude, I'm missing. Yo, dead silence and like stuff like that is crazy. People like literally like don't remember how to play COD. This is wild. There's a Sten. The Sten. Core gameplay is solid. The jetpack movement and things like that feels really good on PC, especially for the plutonium version. And uh, honestly, without supply drops and all the toxic that was in this game, like honestly, this game is goaded or not goaded. It's not goaded, but you know, I'm over exaggerating, but it's good. Like even without all the toxic stuff, it's a good game. I'm pretty sure they're behind us now or they're okay all right well i just got destroyed right there that's 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 awesome okay yeah i'm just getting absolutely yeah what i just i just got i guess bro look at all this really dope armor and stuff like that that they have i mean like honestly like black ops 3 as much as i don't like that a lot of the really cool armor is pretty much all the really dope armors except for the hero armor was locked behind supply drops all these designs are really dope man like all the characters had their own unique kind of styles and just, it, it was just so colorful and so sick, honestly. Oh my gosh, the taunts and gestures. Wait, wasn't there like, I'm pretty sure there was like a, gr a digging a grave or something like that. I think dabbing was in this game too. Uh, let me, see. there it is. There's the grave digger. Look at that, digging a grave, digging a grave. <laughs> trying to think, let's see, what what else was there? There was, there was a bunch of stuff in here. That, since this game came out in 2015. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's dip look. Oh, there's a dab! Look at her! Look at her dab! What's really nice about this plutonium or this, I guess, whatever you want to call this, this mod, whatever, is the fact that, you know, you can unlock everything and, like, you don't really have to grind up for stuff. I, you know, BO3 on PC is just absolutely reckless and awful at the moment. So, you know, I, I heard that there's people getting DDoS and everything like that, too, which is crazy. That guy's not playing. That guy's not playing. I'll take two free kills. Wait a minute. Look at that. Two, two insane kills. I'm nasty. Why are you camping up here, brother? No! I'm just killing all the AFK guys. Like, I just don't, <laughs> I just, like, don't care, bro. Yeah, I'll get the easy kills. Don't worry. What? How did he not die? What? You guys remember the classic spawn system? Yeah, me too. All right, we got the Annihilator out. I'm probably just going to choke some kills, but, you know, whatever. Yep, there it is. There's, there's, the, there's the choke. What's your guys' favorite gun in Black Ops 3? Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a noob, and I'm going to go with the... Um, Honestly, I don't really have a favorite gun. I didn't really like this game, to be honest. I don't, I'm not really, like the biggest fan of jetpacks. I have appreciation for it now, uh, but like I'm not like super into the jetpack games. Like this game's all right. I mean, like it's good. Like it's classic. Like, uh, it's not classic hot. Like classic Call of Duty is like Black Ops 2 and like Modern Warfare 2 and things like that. Definitely not that level of classic, but it's getting there. I mean, like it, the game's almost 10 years old, which is really, really hard to say. Okay, I just blew that. Why are why why are we sweating in this? I mean, I'm also not using the best gun around, so you know, I'm just I'm just coping. I'm just coping really hard, to be honest. You've got to be kidding me, bro! Listen, if I put on a regular gun, it, it's over, bro. It's over, bro. People people are like just roasting each other in the chat, bro. People are gonna pick Nuketown, obviously. I want to play Redwood, but like you know, voting Redwood over Nuketown. Hey, that's me! 
bro. Come on now. I think Nuketown's overrated. I mean, it's not overrated. It's just, it's not that great of a map, in my opinion. I think that Nuketown is, uh, I think Nuketown's a fun map to play, but I don't think it's like as good as everyone thinks it is. It's just an iconic map that is synonymous with the Black Ops games. That's all. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I haven't really been doing much lately. Obviously, we've been uploading once a week here on the channel, and I hope you guys have been really enjoying that. I know I took a break last week, but I kind of been going through some stuff in the past couple weeks, and I just needed a clean slate for like a week or so, and that's why we're back this week. And that's my good excuse. The bad excuse is that I got a Nintendo Switch recently, and I've been playing a ton of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So that way, when the new game comes out, I'll be able to just kind of cruise right into it. I think it's called like Tears of the Kingdom or something like that, and it looks insane. I've only seen like one trailer, but Breath of the Wild is so much fun. I've been addicted to Breath of the Wild, honestly. That's what I'm doing whenever I'm not recording, not watching anime, or not watching... I mean, honestly, I'm normally playing Zelda whenever I'm watching the NBA playoffs as well. Speaking of the NBA playoffs, I really enjoyed watching the playoffs this season. Uh, the Nuggets are playing the Suns right now, and I'm gonna be real with you guys, I don't really see the Nuggets losing to the Suns because Joker is damn near unstoppable, so I got the Nuggets in six. On the other side with the Lakers and the Warriors, I think it could go either way because Golden State could get super hot and never miss a shot, but at the same time, the Lakers also have AD, LeBron, and they kind of have a, I, I guess, a deeper bench than the Warriors do. And then over on the East, I got the Heat beating the Knicks in probably five games. It could go to six, but I'm gonna be real. The Knicks are lucky that Jimmy Butler did not play in game two, I think it was, because they barely beat the Heat without Jimmy Butler. If Jimmy Butler had played in that game, it would be a clean sweep 4-0. And finally, with the Celtics and the Sixers, I think that could go either way. I think it could go to a game seven. Uh, I got Boston in seven, I guess. I don't really know. I just don't know if the 76ers can stay consistent both of those teams are kind of inconsistent from what i've seen in the playoffs so far and uh yeah so I, I don't really know besides that i've been watching a bunch of new anime or just a bunch of anime this season i'm watching vinland saga demon slayer uh mashal which is like Black Clover meets One Punch Man meets Harry Potter meets Mob Psycho 100. It's it's pretty wild. It's hilarious. It's a great anime. I guess you definitely go watch it. And then I'm also watching Birdie Wing, which is like a mob golf anime. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just been Zelda, NBA playoffs, and anime. Awesome stuff. <laughs>